Hello, today's devotional can be found in Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 32. <coughs> also, we made our we made ordinances for us to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our God. Okay, so the house of the Lord is the temple and we go there to have saving ordinances done for us that we might be able to pull ourselves out of the depths of ignorance utilize the atonement and come closer to the Lord and when we've done these ordinances for ourselves we can do them for those who are no longer alive it does not involve desecration of life or bodies. It involves putting people's names on little cards through the work of family history and taking those cards to the temples and serving as proxies for those people's spirits and freeing people from any pains through the Savior's help, any pains or sorrows or weaknesses or shortcomings they had in life, allowing them to let go of the pain they felt in life and move on to embracing God the Eternal Father, if they so choose. That's why they're called saving ordinances, when we've done them for ourselves when we have saved ourselves, we have the opportunity to help the Lord save others. And this is the greatest kind of service that we can do. Because it is like, it's very similar to the Savior giving of himself for our sakes. We give of our time for the sake of others. That all may be given the opportunity to climb out of darkness and be free. Of course, not everybody wants to go to the temple or makes themselves worthy to go to the temple because to be worthy to go to the temple, you have to be an active member of the church and qualify for a special recommend because the temple is so sacred. Not everyone can go inside. And it's not to exclude people. It's people have to prepare themselves before they can go to the temple in both in body, mind, and spirit. Would you want someone who didn't understand the ordinances and understand the sacredness of it to go to the temple and possibly make a mockery of it in public later? No. You wouldn't because the temple is the Lord's house. It is sacred, not secret. So we all have to prepare and be able to answer accountability questions to our priesthood leaders, our bishops, and stake presidents in order to be able to go. And those are leaders of various congregations. The bishop is the leader of the ward. The stake president is the leader of several wards, which constitutes a stake. Mm -hmm. And We are all invited to serve because the dead need care too. I mean, it's great that we care for our living, but the dead need care too because who can care for them but us? They cannot do the ordinances for themselves because they do not have a body. And the ordinances require a body. They can make the covenants with the Lord as spirits, but We need to be there to kind of give them the chance to make those covenants. No one is forgotten in the kingdom of God. God loves all his children. He does not forget the dead just because they are no longer in mortality. He seeks to help them. He seeks to redeem them. Even them. God will not forget us. We may forget God, but God will not forget us. He loves us unconditionally. Isn't that wonderful? 
And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.